Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lynn Wilson. Are you ready to have a good day? Are you ready to be positive? We are going to discuss the Positivity Planner. I purchased this at Five and Below back in November. I have not used it since. I, want is, I was waiting for the right day. And so we're gonna use this today. And it's a hard covered book and it is very simple. It's nothing fancy. You can actually create this if you wanted to not purchase it and you want to create something um, just in a notebook or in a journal. It starts with a quote for each month. This one says, start each day with a positive thought. And you can see that. And I'm just going to read to you the pages. I will hold this up, but it's really too late, I think, for the camera to catch it. Let me see if I can just come in a little bit. Maybe you can catch a little bit but I will try and take a picture of this and link it at the end of the video. But what it does, it has a two spread fold uh, for one week and it says this week and you date it. And it says reflections on this week. It gives you some quotes at the bottom. Things are going, uh, good things are going to happen. Positive mind, positive vibes, positive life. Um, it starts out with, I'd love to. I'm looking forward to, I need to fitness goals I'm grateful for I enjoyed I accomplished which is that's my favorite part I'm a very task driven person so I like writing all the accomplishments silver linings mindful moment so then you would go to the next week so the second week of the month this one says choose happiness be in love with every minute of your life and then all the topics are the same again I'd love to I'm looking forward to I need to fitness goals, I'm grateful for, I enjoyed, I accomplished, silver linings, and mindful moments. And then week three, it says, do more of what makes you happy. It's not what happens, it's how you handle it. All right, and then week four, fall asleep, this is my favorite, fall asleep with a dream and wake up with a purpose. Don't count the days, make the days count. And then they do have a fifth week, just in case the month has five weeks. Be fearless and authentic and make a stumble part of the dance. So this is really cool. And then they give you just two uh, journaling pages at the back that you can just journal some things. And then you go into your second month, do more of what you love, and then it repeats itself. I'm assuming it's about a year's worth in here. I don't know, but I'll tell you what. I wasn't sure how I wanted to use this because it's all about uh, your thought. I'm not a journaler, um, but I was thinking with COVID-19, we've been in it for three months, three heavy duty months, at least here in New Jersey, you know, stay at home and life has been really, really different. So what I thought is I need to go back and journal how I felt in the beginning how I adapted, how I adjusted, what did I learn? What do I want to remember? Um, what things caused fear maybe and how I overcame that? Um, great things that happened during this time, lessons I learned, things I want to just cherish the rest of my life and then just go through each, each week and make a note. I'd love to do this. I'm looking forward to what I need to do, fitness goals, what I'm grateful for this week, what I really enjoyed, what I accomplished, what were the silver linings, and what were mindful moments. And you know, not every week I might have one or two blanks on there, I don't know. You know, I haven't even started this yet, but how cool would this be to have a journal of COVID-19 that we can look back on in a positive way. Forget all this fear and the negativity on the news and on Facebook and probably people you're maybe mingling with at the grocery store and they're all complaining, stop listening to them. You know what's right. Start looking at the positive. You can look at the day that it's raining and it's gray, or you can look at the day of all the things you can get accomplished in spite of that rain. That rain will go away, that gray day will go away. But you know what? The day will never come back. So if you make today purposeful, and you say for today, I'm gonna to do the best I can, whether it's raining or not, because when tomorrow comes, you can look back on yesterday 
and say, you know what I got done in spite of that gloomy day? I did all these things. Or you can say, it was raining yesterday and I got nothing done. So it's really up to you on how you want to do it. So you know what? Get your planner. This is a real simple one. Very, There's not much in it at all. And grab some of your planner stickers. Maybe grab some of your... I have uh, January, February, March, and so on. 12 months of the year rubber stamps. I can date them like this. Grab your colored pencils and maybe you want to do some journaling and some doodling and who knows what. You know, it's yours. Put stickers in it. Get your washi tape out. Get your pencils. Get your paintbrushes. Do whatever you want. Tea stain it. Coffee stain it. Make it yours. Make it something that like brings your create ju creative juices out. Also, you gotta have a good pen case. Grab your pen case. You've got some highlighters in here. Yep, we got some washi tape. Got some more washi tape. And my favorite pens are the friction pens. If you never use these, you might wanna check them out. F-R-I-X-I-O-N. They click. On the top is a little rubber hard little top here. And they're erasable pens. And sometimes, you know, you go, oh, I, I didn't quite want to say it that way. So you can erase it and you can go back. And I have a set of these pens in about six, eight different colors. So in my regular planner, I can color code if I want. But here's a pink one. I have a nice royal blue one and a nice black one. So these are the three colors that I have in this pen case. I also have green, I have purple, I have red. So I don't know if you can see those colors there really nice colors and I love these pens I get these on Amazon I believe staples if you have a staples by you maybe a office depot um, they might sell them as well but definitely go on Amazon they have it for they're not expensive at all they last a long time I love them for whether I'm going to uh, write in my planner or I'm writing like a thank you note to someone and you know how many times you write a note and you scribble it and you go oh I need to fix that so grab a journal grab a positivity planner whatever you have and join with me and let's start journaling about the journey that we're on through COVID-19 let's look at the positive and be positive together I hope you enjoyed this video welcome if you're new welcome back if you're one of my regulars leave a comment below do you journal maybe send a picture of what your journals look like I'm new to this so I'm going to ask for some input on your end and help me out learning how to put together a journal that's really creative and um, I'm not looking for simplistic I want stuff in here fun paper clips I want this to be chunky at the end you know where they pop open because you have so many things in there that's what I'm looking for so thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you on the next video